How's it going guys? My name is Wilson. Only 44 players in NBA history has ever won a title in both the college and professional level. A few of them being all-time greats in Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Bill Russell. There were also a bunch of role players that have done it who you have never heard of like Billy Thompson, Milt Wagner, and Keith Erickson. But only 5 current NBA players have done it and none of them have ever been all-stars. Let's get started. Jason Terry at 40 years old, Terry is currently the third oldest player in the NBA in his 19th season, right behind Vince Carter and Manu Ginobili. Terry played for six different teams and is one of the best players to never make the All-Star team. Before the NBA, the Jet played four seasons with the Arizona Wildcats from 1995 to 99. As a sophomore under head coach Lute Olsen, Terry started 18 of his 34 games played, was the team's fourth leading scorer, averaging 10.5 points. The Wildcats finished with a 25-9 record, led by backcourts Miles Simon and Mike Bibby. Arizona knocked on Rick Pitino's Kentucky team 84-79 in the title game, while Simon won most outstanding player. As a senior, Terry was named Pac-10 Player of the Year and All-Conference First Team. The Jet was drafted 10th overall in the very deep 99 draft by the Atlanta Hawks where he played for 5 seasons before being traded to Dallas in the summer of 2004. Terry overcame tough adversity of losing many heartbreaks with Dallas, like the 2006 NBA Finals, getting knocked off by the 8th seeded Warriors in 2007. It wasn't until his 12th season where Terry finally won an NBA championship with the Mavs as a 6th man, knocking down clutch shots from time to time, defeating the Miami Heat in the 2011 Finals, averaging 18 points in the series, even outscoring LeBron James. Terry is still going strong at the twilight of his career, playing limited minutes with the young and coming Milwaukee. Milwaukee Bucks. Corey Brewer. Now in his 11th season as a role player, recently signed with the Dunder, Brewer played for six different teams and was part of that legendary Florida Gator team who won back-to-back -back national championships in 2006 and 2007. Brewer played alongside future NBA All-Stars in Joe Kim Noah and Al Horford with the Gators. After being unranked to start the season in 05-06, Florida finished the year 33-6 and knocked off UCLA for the title game, where Joe Kim Noah was named most outstanding player. Projected as a lottery to mid first round pick by ESPN's Chad Ford in the 2006 draft, Brewer alongside Noah and Horford announced they would all be returning for their junior seasons in pursuit of their second national title and finished the 06-07 season 34-5 overall, knocking off Greg Oden and Ohio State in the championship game 84-75. Coincidentally, the Gators are the first team to ever hold the NCAA Division I college football and basketball title the same academic and calendar year, where Florida also defeated the Buckeyes in the college football championship game 41-14. The first time in college sports history that identical matchups and results occurred in both football and basketball. Brewer was named Final Four Most Outstanding Player and then went on to be drafted 7th overall by the Minnesota Timberwolves, one of three Gators selected in the top 10. After three and a half seasons with the Wolves, Brewer was part of that three team deal that sent him to the Knicks in the Carmelo Anthony trade. Brewer was immediately brought out by New York, but luckily signed with the Mavs in March, ended up winning the title in 2011, even though he didn't play a single minute in the finals. Danny Green in his ninth season in the NBA, Green was actually drafted by the Cavs, was later cut and picked up by the Spurs. As the starting shooting guard for one of the most elite teams over the last two decades, Green had a stellar four-year career at the University of North Carolina under legendary head coach Roy Williams. Won the national title his senior year, defeating Michigan State, averaging over 13 points, played alongside Tyler Hamsborough, Ty Lawson, and Wayne Ellington. Green was inserted to the starting role for the Spurs in the middle of the 2011-12 season, had an incredible run in the 2013 finals, set a record hitting 27 threes after it was broken by Steph Curry. Green and the Spurs knocked off Miami in 2014, winning a collegiate and NBA title 5 years apart. Maurice Spates Playing in his 10th year in the NBA, Spades just like Brewer and Terry played for 6 different teams and currently with the horrendous Orlando Magic. Spades played his college ball with Florida, was part of the 07 national title team with Corey Brewer. Spades played a couple minutes coming off the bench under Al Horford and Joe Kim Noah, averaged right around 4 points and 2 rebounds as a freshman. The 6'10 center finished his sophomore season averaging 14.5 points and over 8 rebounds, was selected by the Philadelphia 76ers with the 16th pick in the 2008 draft. After playing for Philly, Memphis, and Cleveland, Spades signed with the Warriors in the summer of 2013, 
earned the nickname Mo Buckets as a decent scorer for the second unit, was a key bench player for Dub Nation, winning the 2015 championship, defeating his former Cavaliers team 4 games to 2. Mario Chalmers Chalmers played 3 years at Kansas under legendary head coach Bill Self, is best known for his clutch performance in the championship game against Memphis, sank the clutch streak with 2.1 seconds left to send the game to overtime, eventually winning the 2008 college basketball title, overcoming a 9 point deficit with 2 minutes left in regulation in one of the best college basketball games anyone has ever seen. Chalmers finished with 18 points, 3 steals, and was named most outstanding player. The 6 foot 3 point guard started all 82 games his rookie season with the Heat averaging 10 points, 5 assists, and 2 steals. After LeBron's arrival to South Beach, Chalmers handed over the number 6 to James after wearing that jersey for 2 seasons, switched to his college number, 15. Known for his timely clutch jumpers, Chalmers had an epic 25 point performance in Game 4 of the 2012 Finals, scoring 12 points in the final period to defeat the Thunder, eventually beating them in 5 games. The following season, Chalmers once again showed up when it mattered most dropping 20 points in Game 6 of the 2013 Finals, holding off the Spurs in overtime. One defining moment that stood out for me in Game 7 was Chalmers' clutch 3-pointer at the buzzer to end the third quarter, giving Miami a 1-point lead and knocked off San Antonio winning back-to-back -back NBA titles. Once again, Jason Terry, Corey Brewer, Danny Green, Marie Space, and Mario Chalmers are the only current NBA players who's won both an NCAA championship and an NBA title. Thank you so much for watching this video. I talk NBA comparisons, amazing storylines, NBA history, and anything basketball that will interest you. If you're a fan of the NBA, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.